You know, I'm so happy to be part of CBS, the Tiffany Network. We have a partnership, me and CBS. They've even offered to let me decide where the next NCIS will take place <laughs> and which rapper will star in it. I'm thinking NCIS Fort Wayne starring Lil Wayne. <laughs> I'd watch that. And one of the perks is that I have access to an archive of CBS Entertainment going back over 80 years. In fact, I've been binge watching Face the Nation from the very beginning. I can't wait to find out how the Vietnam War ends. No spoilers. <laughs> and whenever I want, here's why this show is just so fun and easy to do. Anytime I want, I can just dip into that archive for some free content. So it's time for another trip into the CBS vault. Tonight, we bring you CBS Sports from 1979. <laughs> It's a beautiful spring day here at Chamberlain Downs, March 28th, 1979, a day where certainly nothing could go wrong. Here at the track, the skies are blue and the crisp air smells delightfully of horse. The contenders have taken their position at the starting gates and they're off. Velvet Mistress jumps out to an early lead, followed closely by You Old Devil, Cantankerous Jones, and Grandpa's Weeping War Wound. Coming up on the outside are Nixon's Dream, Horse Toberfest, As Fast as a Car, and Soon to Be Dog Food. And now, oh, excuse me, I've just been handed a breaking news bulletin. What? It can't be. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I have just received word that there has been a massive accident at the Three Mile Island nuclear facility just outside of Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. A complete nuclear meltdown, my God. And around the turn, it's pride of Allentown, but don't count out drunk Irish mess, Pikachu, my dead wife, and Dr. Horse Medicine Horse. I'm being told the fallout will reach us here in New York City within the hour. Millions of men, women, and children tragically obliterated in a wall of nuclear fire. We're all doomed! Is coming around the bend right now! Followed by Chinese democracy, baby fingers, Three Mile Island disaster, and Keith! So this is how it ends. Man destroyed by his own engine. Mutated horses with eight legs will shatter all previous racing records. The sport as we know it will be lost. Oh hubris, oh wretched pride. And coming down the final stretch, it's nature's motorcycle. Just like the approaching tide of devastation, he is unstoppable. Nature's motorcycle has done it. He has won the final race of the before times. Protect him, take him to the bunker. We must preserve this pure specimen so that future generations may issue from his loins. The bloodline must be preserved above all else. Nature's motorcycle, our savior, our new god. We worship 